Hello everyone. We will continue the topic. We created the order header table. We created the order item table. Now we need to put the data in the order item table now. But we will not put the data first in the order item table. Before that, we will go for primary foreign key relationship. Now, as of now, your both tables are independent tables. So, if I will put anything in the order item table, system will not stop me. Suppose, in this order header table, I have the order number 1 to 5. If I will put a order number 6 also in the item table, system will not stop me because there is no relationship between these two tables. But it is a wrong thing because if you are putting a record into item table, which is not in the header table, it means you are violating the data, data consistency. Simple thing. If you do not have a order number, how you can go for the items which belongs to that particular order? It means this table is totally, totally dependent on this particular table. Your item table is totally dependent on your header table. And item table should should take only that data which is in the header table or i will say your dependent table should take only those order numbers which are in your independent table or your foreign key table this is your foreign key table should take only that data which is in your primary key table. So this is your primary key table. This is your foreign key table. Or this is your independent table and this is your dependent table. So your dependent table is totally, totally depend on this independent table. So, to make that data consistency, we should go for a primary foreign key relationship because data should always, always present in the primary key table. It may or may not in the foreign key table. Suppose if I am putting a order number six in the order header table. It may or may not in your this particular table, item table, but it is never the case that six is in the item table, but it is not present in your header table. Because without header, there is no existence of the item. Now, to make a data consistency between both the tables, we should go for a primary foreign key relationship. Now, what is the prerequisite for primary foreign key relationship? Tables should have a common column or common key or common field. If you see, our both the tables, our both the tables has one common column that is your order number, order number. 
So now we will go for a relationship between both the tables. And it is very necessary that whenever you are inserting data into item table, please, please go for relationship first. Else you will put a data which will violate that data consistency because your this is your dependent table on this particular table. Now we will see how to assign the relationship. Now, this is my independent table. Header table is my independent table or it is my primary key table. How I will assign this into item table? I will select the common column the common column between both the tables that is order number i will click on to this button foreign keys now i will pass the name of my primary key table or independent table that is my header table i will click on create proposal and you can see it is clearly saying order number of header table is equal to order number of your item table so whenever you will put any order number into this item table it will always always check in your header table it will always always check in the header table now we will come on to next important part what is cardinality now what is cardinality number of records in t table corresponds to how many number of records in the foreign key table or secondary table now we will understand this term by this data number of records in primary key table corresponds to how many number of records in the foreign key table simple thing for order number one i have three records in the item table for order number two i have two records in the item table for order number three, I have three records in the item table. It means for a particular record in header table, we have multiple records in the item table. So in this case, what should be the cardinality? Cardinality is one. It means number of records in the primary key table corresponds to multiple records in the foreign key table. Magni, extremely, extremely important concept. Now I will click on to this copy button. I will check the syntax and I will activate this particular table. Now what we learned in this particular video that whenever you want to go or whenever you want to insert the data into foreign key tables or I'll say in whenever you want to insert the data into dependent table always always check that you should go for a data which is in the independent or primary table then in that case, you have to assign the primary foreign key relationship so that your dependent table should only accept those records which are in your independent table. So that's it in this particular video. In the next video, we will continue this topic. Thank you.